everybody, this is me, and today's video is probably one of the hardest I've ever had to film and edit. So I apologise that it's up later than expected and I've, have, I've sort of kept this from you guys because this vlog was actually filmed in between my trips to Senegal in West Africa and um, when I went over to the US. So I had a week in England to sort of get everything done and it was probably one of the worst weeks of my life. I have not cried so much in a week, if I'm being honest, because Mickey has been pretty poorly. And it all sort of started um, when I got back from my trip in Senegal. My mum was like, okay, Mickey's lame. He's okay, he's fine, he's just lame. And the vet's coming that morning. So I thought, oh, I'll vlog with the vet coming. Like, I didn't think it was gonna be that serious. And it wasn't really until I walked Mickey out of his stable that I saw him absolutely hopping lame and I just burst into tears. So I'll let past Esme explain and I'll show you sort of the journey of what's really happened with Mickey. have changed since I last did a little um, chatty kind of vlog like this. Also if you're wondering, yes I'm wearing a hat because I am freezing because in Africa it was like 35 degrees C every day and back home in England it is not that, it is very cold. Also my hoodie I'm wearing, thought I'd let you guys know because you always ask about these things, is it's new merch. So yeah that's very exciting, I thought it's quite cool, it's got little um, autumn leaves and things on so very cute. So we actually have the vet out today, I have a lot to update you guys on because Mickey is lame, we think it's laminitis but obviously once the vet's been I'll have a little bit more of a chat with you guys about what's wrong with him and how we're gonna fix it, so yeah. So one of the first updates is that we've actually made Mickey and Casper's paddock a lot smaller. Probably doesn't look like it because you can only just about see the electric fence in the distance. So they still have a lot of space, but before their paddock was absolutely huge. And the reason why we've done this is because I don't know if you can see, but we actually have some oak trees there. And we think the reason why Mickey's gone lame is because he has been pigging on the acorns. If you didn't know, acorns have a lot of starch in them. So we think that's why he's got laminitis from that because before they've never eaten the acorns, but I think now they've got the taste for it. So we've sectioned that all off. Also with a lot less grazing, it will hopefully cut down the amount of grass that they're eating, but we'll see. So here here we have the boys, it's actually been the cutest thing because since Mickey's been on box rest, he's been in the donkey stable because it's bigger but also I'll show you why he can't go in either his stable or Casper's stable. But yeah, while Mickey's been on box rest it's been so cute because Casper's literally just been standing by his stable, even poking his head over and just standing by him and it's been so sad because Casper's been so lonely being kind of on his own but it's nice that he can actually go up and see Mickey. And as you can see, the mud has definitely come to England. Casper is so muddy. And just look at the fields. Oh, it's the mud season, guys. We've had so much rain over here since I've been away. And it feels like as soon as I've come back from hot, sunny Africa, it's just become winter over here. It's so rainy and cloudy, but since I've been in like 35 degree heat, I'm kind of enjoying it, not gonna lie, but I don't think that will last for long. Will it, Casp? Hey, sleepy boy. Yeah. Oh, cutie. So it feels like everything goes wrong when I go away. So as you can see, this is Mickey's stable. And what actually happened is he leant against the wall and it popped out and that caused all of the brickwork at the bottom to basically fall down. So we had the builders come out um, and basically they've removed all the bricks to let them dry out because it's rained so much. And then this guy's gonna come and re-put the bricks in, reinforce it and hopefully push the stable sort of wall back in. So we've had a lot of problems because of you, Mix. Are you actually kidding me? Casper just went and rolled in the muddiest patch and I missed it. Oh Casp! So this is what Mickey's stable looks like in the morning. He has so much shavings but he just mixes everything together so it's so difficult to clean so this is gonna be fun to muck out. But also Mickey has gotten so fluffy since I've been away. I've come back to like a polar bear like look at all that winter coat. 
I also need to give him a, oh, Casper, he's licking Mickey. <laughs> That's so cute. Oi, Casper, be nice. <laughs> Brotherly love there. They do have like a love-hate relationship. They're a bit like brothers. Like they play fight, but then they also love each other so much. Apparently when I've been away, Casper's been putting his head over Mickey's stable and Mickey's been like licking Casper's face, which is so cute. But anyway, Mickey does have a few dirty patches. So I need to give this guy a little bit of a clean, his stable a bit of a clean for <laughs> ready for the vet to come. So I just want my poorly boy better. Yeah. Poorly boy. Never ending dust. Faces look up for another losing game. So, as you can see, he is really really lame just want to get better he seems alright himself though he seems quite happy but I just I just want him to be okay it honestly breaks my heart to see my boys in pain because they are literally my world I just just hope he'll be okay so while he's chilling over there, it's time to muck out his stable. Okay, so it's quite a bit later now. The vet has been gone. I've had my lunch. I've pulled myself together. And so I'm going to explain to you basically what is wrong with Mickey and what's happening. So in the past, Mickey has had laminitis and he doesn't have it now. So that's one less thing to worry about. So basically what is meant is that his white line has been it's got larger because of that because his penal bones have moved a little bit so obviously i'm not a vet so i'm trying to explain this the best as i can so if it's a little bit factually incorrect then i apologize this is the best of my knowledge that i have at the moment so because this um white line on his in his hoof has got larger they think that he's got an abscess so there's some bacteria and things and pus in there so the vet's actually cut away a big chunk of his hoof and there's no pus that's come out yet so i'm actually going to go to my local tack shop now and get some bits and bobs that we need to pick up so we already do have vet wrap and um animal intex as which is going to be used for a poultice but i want to go and get some more just in case and i also need to get some food for the donkeys as well so yeah off to the tack shop so i've got the goods it's poultice time mix yeah lost my job caught in the rain my car just broke out miss my train i'm wondering if this is what i deserve the red is late my phone is off i'm wishing that we would have talked i can't sleep cause the bed feels so cold I can see what my heart means to you I did everything that you 
enjoy having your poultice on, won't you? Yeah? He seems a lot better in himself now, like this morning he just... He wasn't his like happy, licky kind of boy, but now he's back licking again. So he seems a lot better after the vet gave him this injection of like pain relief kind of things. And we've got this um, syringe that kind of looks like wormer that we need to give to him tomorrow morning for some more pain relief. And then we'll just give him some beauty and things. So he seems like he's doing a lot better now. Like he's, he just seems so much more like my Mickey. Cause like before when the vet was here, like he was just standing there, he wasn't licking. He wasn't like, usually he would like nudge me or like try and chew his lead rope or something like that. But you're back to Mickey again, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Should we show everyone your poultice? Yeah? So this is our attempt at poulticing. <laughs> you can tell Mickey's back because he's licking me literally as I'm talking right now. So apology for the licky noises in the background of the audio. But you can kind of see on his left hoof here that there is a big indent there where the vet cut away quite a bit of his hoof. But then on Wednesday if Mickey isn't better or he gets worse then we're going to get the vet to come back out and ex do some x-rays and do some further investigation to like the problem and also we, we're hoping for some gunk to come up on that poultice and hopefully get that out but he's still still a bit hopping lame which isn't great but but yeah the boy is definitely licky and seems a lot happier in himself now which has just made me so much happier because i was so upset when he wasn't his usual like licky happy self um but also my mum very kindly helped me poultice his, his hoof so um she isn't horsey so i just realized looking back on some of the footage that she was kneeling while doing it and you're not supposed to kneel especially in front of a horse's hoof so um yeah, don't do that. Just thought I'd let you know, but she very kindly helped me out, which is brilliant as poulticing a horse's hoof is definitely a two-person job. But Mickey was such a good boy, especially like having his hoof in the bucket of water, the salty hot water, just to sort of clean everything. Also, before I go, I just thought I'd let you know that when the vet was here, we also um, took some blood from Mickey to have that tested. So we're also gonna have him tested for Cushing's because his winter coat is so much thicker thicker than like it usually is this time of year if I take you around to the other side of his butt you can kind of see it's gone really curly which is very different and that's one of the signs for Cushing's my mum and I both had like a slight feeling that he might have Cushing's but then we didn't think too much about it because one of the signs is that they lose weight and Mickey definitely has not lost any weight any time recently. He definitely loves his food, this guy. So we didn't really think too much of it. So it'll be interesting to see what the vet comes back with with his blood results to see if he does have Cushing's or not. Because that, again, could be part of the problem. But he's just getting old now. And yeah, he seems quite happy now. And I'll just let him chill and I'll get some editing done. I'll see you later, boy. Yeah. I love you. I love you. So I've now caught a wild Casper and it's time to ride him. He hasn't been ridden in over a week so I'm not expecting much from him. Um, I have a feeling he'll be Potato Casper. A lot of people think that when Casper's had time off from riding that he will be Spicy Casper and just want to run 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 but he's the opposite. He'll probably be really lazy and really chilled especially as we're only riding in our arena. When we go somewhere else he gets a bit more excited. I think we'll probably just do a little bit of flat work I'll probably spice it up a bit make it a bit more exciting by putting some poles down because we do have a dressage lesson tomorrow so I'm not gonna like push him too hard to like work absolutely amazingly just because he's had some time off and it was probably not fair on him but tomorrow I know that he's gonna get a proper real good workout when we do some dressage yeah dressage excited no Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's not really his thing. He prefers jumping, but um, we'll see how he goes. Just have a bit of fun. And I need to get this mud monster clean. Like, look at that. His mane has gotten so long since I've been away as well, but I think I'm just going to leave him a hairy monster <laughs> until I finish all of my traveling, because if not, he's just going to be out in the fields clipped. It's probably not going to be great if he's only being ridden a little bit. You're enjoying your holidays? Yeah. I am hopefully going to get one of my friends to come out and maybe ride him while I'm away just to keep him ticking over. Keep him a little bit fitter, but 
Yep. He's like, get me groomed. Okay, okay. Grooming time. It started when you took me further than I could. At a oh my goodness. Can we just appreciate this mud line? Oh my goodness. Dirty boy. Okay, so I've now worked my magic and Casper's looking pretty clean compared to the state he was that I first found him in. <laughs> However, he's still a little bit dusty. He's not like spotless, but I think I've done a pretty good job. So now I'm just gonna tack him up and get ready for our ride. And I think he's gonna be potato Casper, guys. He's literally falling asleep. So I've now got Casper all tacked up. In the end, I did decide to put his jumping saddle on just in case we want to like pop a few cross poles just to get him excited and um, have a little fun, work a little bit on that and things. I don't know if we're gonna be able to film much because it's literally just started raining. Classic England, so I don't particularly want to get my camera wet because this one isn't waterproof and Casper's ready to go So I'll see you after I ride <laughs> So I've just untacked the boy who was very very good in our pole work session I decided to not jump like we uh, well basically I was too lazy to put on any cross poles and he was pretty eager anyway So we just did some trotting poles and things so this guy's very much wanting his tree. Okay, here you go there you go, there's your treat. Good boy, Casp. What a good boy. What a good boy. So I'm just going to put his rug back on and let him out in the field. But knowing him, he'll probably just want to stand by Mickey because he's such a little sweetheart. He just hates leaving Mickey on his own in his stable. He loves standing by his stable door. I'll try and catch him later if he does it again. But hey, good boy. Yeah. Okay everybody, it's now a few weeks later and I thought in this sort of outro I'll wrap up everything and explain what's happened because I didn't want to put this vlog out until I knew all the details, knew what was wrong with Mickey and that he's better. So he's now better, which is great. However, there were lots of different things that sort of went on during that week. So this vlog was actually filmed on the Monday. So the vet came, he cut out a bit of Mickey's hoof, we poulticed it, we thought it was an abscess and it was an abscess. However, the reason why I was so upset during that week, and I was actually so upset that I didn't vlog on the Wednesday or the Thursday when the vet came back, was because um, Mickey, the vet was like, okay, the abscess, um, we can see there's some gunk coming out, that's all brilliant. But Mickey was still lame when the vet was supposed to come back and the vet was like, oh no, he should, like the abscess should have cleared, he should be fine. So that got me really worried because the vet also said that Mickey's pedal bones had moved a bit because he'd had um, laminitis in the past and I was thinking, oh my goodness, Mickey has laminitis, he's going to have to be put down and I sort of had a bit of a catastrophize. So then the vet came back and we were all a bit worried because Mickey hadn't got better, he was still hopping lame, still really bad. So the vet cut away even more of Mickey's hoof and then suddenly it was like a big relief. All of this gunk from this 
abscess and this pus had come out and we were like thank goodness it's just an abscess it's just that not all of it had come out so then a few days later Mickey is now Mickey was now better and then I went off to the US because I was also so worried that like Mickey wasn't gonna be well when, by the time that I was going off again I was like oh my gosh do I cancel my trip and all these stressful things so yeah Mickey is now fine he's doing really well you can probably see him out on the field but also you would know that um, Mickey also had a blood test so we've got some bad news again is that Mickey has now been diagnosed with Cushing's disease so this is something that's quite common in older horses and now Mickey is 20 going on 21 it's kind of expected but this disease is something that Mickey is going to have to live with for the rest of his life he's going to be, have to be on medication for the rest of his life so he takes these little pink tablets called Perglide every morning in his breakfast and he actually takes them down really well as horses aren't supposed to chew them when they take it so we've been putting a little bit of Casper's feed in his bucket because he absolutely loves that so he's been wolfing it all down he's been doing really well I was also really worried with the medication as one of the side effects is that um, the horse can become depressed if they take them however luckily Mickey is still his happy bubbly self which just made me so happy as one of the things that made me so sad was when Mickey was ill is just he just wasn't himself he wasn't my happy Mickey so now he's in the field he's loving life he's just having to be on medication really for the rest of his life um, so he's doing really well and I kind of wanted to finish this vlog with a happy ending as one of the realities of the horses is not everything goes to plan and um, vet bills are very expensive as well but it's so worth it for my mickey and yeah he's just really happy now so i'm gonna finish today's vlog off here um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye